Hello and welcome to Query Tracker. In this video, we're going to talk about the Query Timeline. The Query Timeline is a new feature of Query Tracker version 5, and you can get to it from any agent's profile page. So here we are on an agent's profile page, and to get to the Query Timeline for this agent, you click the Timeline tab at the top of the page here. The timeline is a graph showing the query history for this agent. It takes all the queries recorded on Query Tracker for this agent and lays them out in a linear chart. The best way to understand it is to see it in action, so let's scroll down and take a look. Each line in the chart represents one query. The first bubble represents when the query was sent, and the second bubble is the agent's reply. A red line and bubble indicates a rejection and a green a request. In this example, we see that these two queries were sent on the same day, and these three the day after that. The longer the line, the longer it took to receive the reply. If I need to see what the exact dates were, I can click any of the lines, and a little window appears with the details about that query. It shows me the date the query was sent and the date of the reply, and the icons indicate how it was sent and what the reply was. It also tells me how long the reply took to come back, and if known, the genre and word count of the manuscript. With this graph and enough data, we can learn a lot, such as where your query lies in the agent's queue, if the agent responds in any order, or if your query was skipped over. If you've queried this agent, your query will be shown highlighted in yellow. So in this example, every query before and after mine has already received a reply. This is a pretty good indication that something may have gone wrong and my query was lost. In this example, I still have no reply, but there are plenty of queries before and after mine that don't have replies either. So I'm not going to worry about this one just yet. The timeline can also help you predict when you might receive a reply. In this example, the agent tends to accumulate a few days of queries, then reply to them all in a day or two. So if you're in this bunch and people start reporting queries around you, there's a good chance you'll get yours around the same time. But this agent's replies are more spread out, so it'll be harder to predict when a reply may arrive. And this agent tends to have very short reply times for rejections, but requests take a lot longer. So if you've queried this agent and the reply is taking a while, it could be a good sign. Well, that's just a few ways of how the query timeline can help you. As more queries are added, even more patterns should reveal themselves. So keep recording those queries, and thanks for watching.